step number three is we are cutting out some plywood patterns for the tanks. And then what we're going to do is put glue some Formica on top of those. So that way when we glass, there isn't any voids. Like if you lay plastic down, I guess there's voids, is what Pete is saying. <laughs> and then the thing about making it to the size is when I, we glass it, we can wait till it gets just sticky enough where we could cut it with a razor knife to size. Okay, here's the Formica. It's just scrap stuff we've had around. So we are going to contact cement these onto the plywood. And then I wax this and then I can lay the glass. I changed the oil in the bus yesterday. That was needed. Maintenance stiff. Pete is getting prepared to work. Um, we have a job of fixing this dinghy, the sailing boat. It was riding on a trailer and cracked. So you can see some of the cracks here. So I'll film a little bit of uh, the work Pete does with this. It cracked on both sides of where it rode on the on the trailer. I'm on step number, I think, five on this uh, Pacific Seacraft, which is gluing the Formica down to here and getting it ready for... Once this is all glued down, I'm going to wax it, and then I'm going to start fiberglassing. So what we're using is two layers of mat and one layer of glass. So right now I am busy cutting out all of the pieces. All right, got all the glass cut and ready. Okay, so I glassed these panels and I'm waiting till they're sort of tacky so I can cut off the ends. And you do that right before it kicks completely. <laughs> well, we got our truck back. And I got a bit of story time to tell you as I'm waiting for the resin to kick. Run over, we had run over a plastic bag before we, uh, before we left this summer to go to Maine. We ran over a plastic bag and it got wrapped around the bumpkin, the back part of the tranny on the truck. And we were running out of time because we were leaving, I think it was like a week before we were going to leave. The seal ripped out of the bumpkin and was leaking, so we had to get a gear puller and everything to actually repair it, so we are like, you know what, there's a business in town that we have brought um, Ava's truck to, and they put a new air conditioning in it for her. Um, before we give it to Ava, we wanted to give her some air conditioning. So we did that for her, for her birthday. She got Pete's... Uh, truck, the white truck that we've had. She's going to drive that since she's 16. Um, and they did a really good job, so we're like, cool, we'll bring the truck there and they'll repair it. And it should be, you know, maybe 300 bucks, which is a lot of money, but um, we were working at the time and we were also running out of time, so we figured we'll just get it done somewhere um, since we had a lot of other tasks to do. So we brought it to them, they repaired the bumpkin, and when Pete went to pick it up, um, he, uh, one of the guys was like, he was kind of a younger guy, and he was like, yeah, they let me drive it, I didn't really know what I was doing, and Pete was kind of like, uh-oh, and, uh, so then he gets the truck, pays the money, goes to drive off, and pow, it pops out of gear, they broke the three on the tree, they must have let the new guy drive it, and we're probably making fun of him, because he didn't know how to drive it, or laughing at him, and, uh, and then I think the guy jammed it somewhere in the column. So they're saying that they broke something in the column. Well, we decided we would just leave it with them over the summer while we went to Maine. And then uh, have them repair it, which they said they would, when we got back. So, fast forward, we're back. We uh, called them and said, hey, we're here. Have you guys done anything? They hadn't done anything. Um, they told Pete that they had ordered the parts and that they were going to fix it. A couple days later, a guy calls and says, no, we're not going to do anything to it. Uh, we're going to tow it back to you. To me, on the phone. And I was like, what the heck? So then I told Pete. Pete calls. The guy says they're going to fix it. So we have went back and forth with these people a few times, thinking, not really sure what the heck's going on. So finally, Pete calls 
to see if they had got the parts and if they had fixed it. And uh, the guy said, nope, we're not going to fix it. We're not responsible for it. We're going to tow it back to you. So his excuse, which, I mean, we understand we're mechanics. You know, sometimes you fix something and something else breaks, especially in these old vehicles. I get it. But we had even offered on the phone that we would pay for parts as long as they fixed it, you know. Um, but they just won't. So now we're kind of stuck with a broken truck. Battery's dead. Tires are flat. <sighs> uh, it had been sitting outside all summer, not being driven. Carburetor probably needs cleaning. Which, I mean, it would have sat all summer anyway while we were gone, but, um, we were thinking we would leave it at Tom Bell's house, and he'd probably drive it around a little bit, but... Turns out we actually needed to get a gear puller anyway because we had dropped the nut in the engine of the Pacific Seacraft before we left as well. So these two things had happened right before we left. And uh, so we ended up getting a gear puller to do that, which was, oh my gosh, what a nightmare. So that was a stressful few weeks before we left, which you guys probably obviously could tell by the videos that I was very stressed out. We were both very stressed out. Plus we were still repairing stuff from the hurricanes. Uh, so anyways, we're back. Truck is here. We're going to try to fix it. Um, and, uh, I'm going to go see if the, uh, I, I'm not going to say what the name of the business is. Um, a lot of our friends know who it is, so they'll know the story, but, uh, we're business owners as well. You know, um, I probably should say what the name of the business is so people know. Uh, but I'm just gonna, you know, I get it, things do break, um, I don't know, anyways, alright, enough story time I think. Mm -hmm.